Emily. <laughs> Finally, a bit of technical oh. difficulties there. I didn't know what I was doing. I was like pressing all sorts of buttons. But you're there. You're here. Oh. That's all that matters. <laughs> so wonderful to see you. Oh, so good to see you. <laughs> so like, good to see you. Did I get my light? I've tried to Look. find my light. Absolutely, you look absolutely beautiful, and I can see you perfectly. The light is perfectly shining Yay! on you. Hey, how oh are you doing, gosh. Em? How are you doing? How are you coping in this 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 weird world of ours right now? Oh my goodness, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah. I, it is. um, but you know what? I was thinking, like, <clears throat> after knowing that we were doing this and thinking about what to say, I was like, you know what we have had that we never get rest. Yes. So much rest. So much and like rest. being able to like sleep in and sort of like have a good eight hours and you know be sort of feel relaxed has been such a joy. Yeah, you not know. having set your alarm for three thirty or. You look so pretty. <laughs> you look so well, that's good. because I'm actually getting some sleep as well because my usual alarm goes off at four thirty every morning. So, being able to sleep in makes such a difference, and you're so right. Such a difference to the way you feel, the way you look. Oh um, it's it's been amazing, and I'm sure that you're experiencing that right now. Oh, totally, totally. Literally, just being. I mean, look, we're both workhorses, so like not being able to work is tough. Yeah. But being able to like press pause and be able to just, you know, and just really relax and sort of be has been um, sort of a blessing in disguise. Yeah. But boy, you look, am I ready you, to get back you, to work. <laughs> Are you missing it? Oh, so much. So much. Because I, I, I know how much you love, love Home and Away I and I, I know how much you love work. So I can imagine yeah. that you're, you're really missing everyone and the whole I job. I really am. I really do. And I think it's, you know, it's obviously, of course, I miss the work and being able to like, you know, make, make the show for, for us and for everyone, but just the people, you know, just like, yeah. it's a family there. And I think, cool. um, and I really, I crave and miss everyone a lot, actually. I can imagine because your family's all from Queensland as well. So it's not like you've yeah. got, you know, mum and dad here. So, you oh. know, I'm in a way like your second family. Yeah, well, that's right. You know, you know me, even on my days off, I'm in the studio. No one knows why. I'm just there. <laughs> like, Emily, uh, are you supposed to be here today? Because no, you're not on the time sheet. Uh, I, I don't know. know. I know. Well, we, so, yeah, we, love I mean, having, we love having you there every day anyway. Uh, and that's where I am. I'm always in that makeup room. Yes, definitely. You and Sam. <laughs> you and Sammy, always in the makeup room. But always we in the makeup have it room. any other way. And so, Emily, oh, they're absolutely they're brilliant. They're yeah, they're all good. good. They're all good. But, um... We're here to talk about beauty and makeup and health yes. and exercise. So yes. I'm going to ask you some questions first and then we'll okay. go to the viewers and, and they can ask you some questions as well because I know that they've got questions for you as well. So oh, great. first okay. I want to start off, which yes. I start off with everyone, your top five makeup products. Okay. So I've got them here. I prepared. Excellent. Very good. Um, okay. So, so my first one is what you guys got me onto, which is the Giorgio Armani um luminous silk yeah yeah so i didn't i didn't really know about this brand before but obviously as well i'd never really been i guess like into makeup you guys have really yeah. taught me sort of so much about it and so so like color matching and all of that that is now at my in my home kit as you know that's a so that's that question. one a weird one that I always use, um, yep. and I don't know why, but I just love it, is this Eraser Dark Circle thing by oh, me. Oh, yes. Right? Sarah actually had that last week as well. It's quite popular, that one, yeah. yeah. And it's very so it's affordable like, as well. Yeah, really affordable. Yeah. And so I put that on, like, under my eyes and, mm -hmm. and like, on top of my eyes as well, and that sort of, like, just makes me look Lifts. more awake, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I sometimes use it as a bit of like concealer if I need. Yeah. Um, so that's number two. Yeah. Um, number three is this, which is a nude by nature um, highlighter stick. Oh, I love and that. Do you know this one? Yes, I know that one. And the good thing about that one is I used it in a tutorial recently. You can also use it even on your eyelids as an yeah. eyeshadow. That's what I've got. You've got it on? Beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's so, awesome. And also like on the cheeks or, yeah. you know, anywhere. It is and, beautiful, and, yeah. And what's, yeah, and what's so good about it too is it's like it, it, it seems natural. Like you, if, you, if you put it on lightly, you really, it, it looks totally natural. 
yeah, you know, it is. so that that I love and that I use. Yeah. Really and you can put it in your bag, you can take with you, you know, when you want yeah. to touch up stuff like that's a good one. Yeah. And it really makes you do it does make give you that colour. You know how I like to be quite tan. Yeah. Like it just yeah. lifts that bronze, which I love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one is r quite ratty because I use it so much and it is in my bag. <laughs> yeah. This is a Maybelline Lash Sensational. Ooh. Is that so a mascara? You, yeah. Yeah, the masca a mascara. And it's okay. the, the brush that I think I love the most. It really just makes my eyelashes look really full and big. It is so important the brush in the mascara, I think. It makes yeah, a difference they do. the brush. They do, don't they? Yeah. And there's all definitely. different brushes for all different types of things. So. That's right. Yeah. There's the thinner, really the thinner brushes as well to do the bottom lashes as well. Yeah. So, yeah. But this one gives me like a nice kick like those you know yeah those sort of gangster eyelashes that i That's like it. and i've taught you to use a, a, a curler now because you never used to I use know. a curler i upgraded to a curler yeah thanks, yeah. To, thanks yeah. to you <laughs> yeah um and then another one that i use is this uh bare minerals um undercover sort of matte um lipstick yeah. um I love Bare Minerals, like, colours. Their range okay. from – I got it yep. from Mecca. It's, it's, it's really natural and, like, gives the lip a colour, but it doesn't look, you know, like, too put too on. Too done, yeah. yeah. Yeah, too done. So yeah. I, I use that when I – And is that a matte one? Is that a matte yeah, one? Yeah, it's a matte one. Yeah. yeah great. Yeah, that, the matte ones also make your lips look fuller as well if you want do, that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, nice. Yeah, so I use – I have that in like a couple of different colors, like a bit of a pink and then a bit of a, an orange undertone as well, but they're just really great. And they're little and I take them. Little. Yeah. Yeah. And those things you always got. All those products that you basically said, they're all small. So they all fit in your handbag and you can take it and do your touch ups, you know, when you're out. Yeah, my bag. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Woo so that's your top five. Mm -hmm. We went through all five. Great. Okay. So next, um, let's talk about your skincare. So what's your favorite skincare range and what's your skincare routine? Well, this is a, 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 a lengthy bit of an answer here, just because as you know, okay. and I don't yep. know if the viewers know, I suffer with acne, like hormonal acne. So when I first came to Home and Away, that's when I first got it, as, as you know. Um, yep. I'd never sort of had acne before and it was just pretty wild. Um, so it was a lot of trial and error. Um, yeah. I, I did like the proactive um, stuff and I did uh, like Benzac from the doctor, which is like a burning agent. Mm -hmm. um, and you remember that when it was really red and kind yes. of raw. Yeah. And that yep. sucked. <laughs> um, and then having to put makeup on top of it every day I didn't know. help. I know. Well, yeah, no, but it was like, it was there. I, I don't even think it was from our makeup. I think it was just a hormonal yeah. change, you know. That's right. Yeah, definitely. Um, and so then I got onto Dermalogica mm -hmm. and I started, um, you know, using their products and became very strict with the routine that they gave me. Yeah. Um, so that was like a cleanser, an exfoliant, you know, acne serums, mm -hmm. red, like less reddening serums and like moisturizers, hydrating masks, all of that. Yeah. So yep. that's what I did. And that really, that really actually did help. For it calmed, it calmed time. the skin down. It and it's like my skin got used to it. Yeah. Um, I've got one of the products here that I still use, which is this Clear Start Breakout Clearing Booster. Okay. Yeah. So after I cleanse, I, I use that every day and mm. that really does help. Okay. Because um, your just, skin's looking fab. Your skin's looking fantastic. Thanks, Mum. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. It's, yeah. It, I mean, it's, it's always touch and go. That's the weird yeah. thing with hormonal acne. You just... Yeah. This is the no reason or another. But anyway, so I use that. But then <clears throat> um, I really love Dermalogica and I always go back to that as my base. But as of yep. recent, I've been introduced to Palico. Yes, we love Palico. Yes. And Joe and everyone. Joe. Yep. <clears throat> um, and the, we love they, it. Yeah, Palico is so great because it, it's Australian made, it's natural. That's and, right. And I really do think uh, it has calmed sort of like my redness down and mm -hmm. um it just feels better it just because it's natural it just feels yes it feels better. so yep. i've now sort of got this interwoven routine of like you know using the the clear booster from dermalogica because i love that mixed mm -hmm. with sort of the, the balancing day cream and like a, a cream cleanser from palico and that sort of simplifies my routine and I, i'm using it at the moment and it seems to be 
to working. be working. That's so, great. You know, but I'm always in the market for, for, for new stuff. And you know me, like I'll try whatever mm-hmm. I can. And, and yep. consistency, I think, is key as well, you know. Definitely as well. You don't want to be using too many products as well because that's not no. good either. No. Well, there was a stage there when I was with Dermalogica that I was using like, I don't know, like nine <laughs> products and, and nine twice a day. And I was like, oh, my God. Too much. Yeah, too much. So, yeah. yeah. No, the Pilulco stuff's good. I also love their um, exfoliator yes. that you can exfoliate in the shower. It's, it just leaves your skin so clean and so smooth. Yeah. It's got the granules in it. Yeah, that's the a fantastic. The granule ones where you really yeah. feel like you're getting a good scrub. Yes. Yeah, I like that and, too. And you can use that every day. It's not like a weekly thing. It's like every you can every time you have a shower because it's so soft on the but skin. that's how it sort of works with the exfoliator. Like you have some that you can use all the time. Yeah, and then some that you should only use sort of once or twice. That's a week. right, exactly. Yeah. Whereas with the Pilulco one, you can use it every day, so that's okay. That's yeah. Okay. All right. So now, how long does it take to do your makeup, and what does it consist of? So you've told us that you're not really big on makeup, but when you do, when you do wear it for you know, like a dinner or going out with the girls, yes. what do you do? And you know, okay, what, what do you use? So uh, generally. Uh, the, the products I've just shown you is what is what I will use. Um, I, I I sleep between sort of like either like a really natural makeup or I go full J-Lo. Yeah. Right? Okay. You know me. So yeah. it's like one or the other. Yeah. Um, but if I do, <laughs> if I go just out with the girls or whatever, I'll have, I'll do the, I'll do like a concealer under my mm-hmm. eyes. Yeah. Uh, a concealer on any redness. Uh, then use the brushes and do the Armani foundation. Mm-hmm. Highlighter, the highlighter stick on my eyes. Mascara. It's sort of exactly what I'm wearing now. And then yeah. I blend in the highlighter um, with a little bit of um, like a, a matte blush as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just to highlight the cheekbones. Yeah. Um, if I'm going big, I'll do like a, like a winged liquid eyeliner. Ooh, we like winged liner. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. it is. It's not easy. It's not. Yeah. Um, so I'll do that. And then I'll uh, obviously put on a big bold lip, you know. I'll do, I like like a dark purple or like a red or just something that sort of stands out. Nice. Um, Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So your character Mackenzie has had some great hairstyles, you know, because with Mackenzie, we're allowed to play around with your hair because, you know, she's from the city and, you know. So um, you've had a lot of different hair looks. Um, Which one has been one of your favourites? That, that Mackenzie has won on the show? Um, so uh, the stock standard sort of like uh, the blow dry with the curl and like a lot of zhuzh. I like volume. Yep. Love yep. that for Mac. Yeah. Um, but as you know, yeah. I love a tight pony. <laughs> yes, oh, I, do. <laughs> I love a free facelift any day mm-hmm. of the week. Yes. Like it's nice and tight and pull. Yeah. Uh, compliments to Joe's bungee tape. Shout out to Yes, Joe. bungee tape. Yeah, definitely. Um, but, you know, just a nice tight, tight pony that, you know, you do so well as well yeah. and where it fits, you know, I just, yeah, yeah I love it. It does, it does. I think it does suit Mackenzie's look, you know, the high pony, the slick high pony. Uh, we'll be seeing a lot of that on Mackenzie in the future. So, yes, and also a whole lot of other different hairstyles as well. But, but the, yes. the, 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 the high pony, the slick one is a favourite that we yeah. use on on you and I do and I do love as well you know sort of how you know the hair and makeup sort of like you know influences the character as well you know yeah. like when we do Mackenzie's work look it's you know slicked back and blah and then you know when she's more in private moments we we you guys do so, we do softer looks on her hair and it just yeah. it really it really helps you know for, yeah. for character and for story so so much yeah, and we always look at what you're wearing as well, what the character's wearing. And Mackenzie's got great outfits as well. So, you nice. know, we'll always say, okay, Em, what are you wearing today? And then we'll look at her outfit. And if it's something funky, we'll do a funky hairdo. Yeah. If it's something more cash, you know, sometimes you're in your PJs, we'll just have it out, really soft. Yeah. So, yeah, we're lucky. You've got beautiful hair, so we have, you know, beautiful hair to work with as well. Oh, thank you. My hair is missing your touch. That is Oh, cool. it's probably grown too. It's so gross. Yes. <laughs> so long. Oh, okay. Um, okay. What makeup? What's one makeup product you can't live without? Definitely. Probably add those. Okay. The highlighter, nude by nature. Yeah. Because you use that for all different things, like you said. You use oh. it on your eyes. Use it on your cheeks. You can use it on your lips. Yeah. You know, it reminds me weirdly, not that it's like this at all, but that you know, yeah. remember those thin Lizzie ads? 
and you oh, can use yes. Zoom Lizzie on everything. The glow, the glow. The glow. Yes. Oh so that so that one for me is definitely like the top, like a top, top one. And that, and I also okay. love the Palico lip balm too. You know, yeah. always when you need a little fresh lip. Yeah, yeah, they're probably my two. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, how do you keep your hair looking so healthy and shiny? And is there any particular hair products that you like to use that help keep it healthy? Yeah, well, <clears throat> yes. Well, when I first started at Home and Away, I was very much uh, a rookie. Um, <laughs> and so I was using, you know, just generic brands, as you know. Um, yep. So the NAC, the NAC range that I was so grateful that you guys um, introduced me to really sort of kept my hair healthy. Yeah. I have a tendency to have a bit of dry hair and then I tend to over condition and like I have to get the ratio. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that the, the KMS Therma shape that we use yep. in my hair, I love. And I also yep. use a leave-in conditioner um, from NAC as well, just like a spray just yep. on my ends because I have a tendency to have like quite dry ends. So and when you're at home, do you do you blow dry your hair? Do you air dry it, or do you just let it dry naturally? I just towel. I towel. Towel. Towel dry. dry. Towel. I give it a a good old towel dry. Yeah. And um, my hair naturally is sort of like this kind of like not really curly, not really straight. Yeah. Um, and so you know, I'll just let it towel dry, and then if it sits right, I'll keep it, and if it doesn't, I'll either straighten it or give it like you know a bit of a blow dry. Yeah. But generally, I just sort of towel dry it and leave it yeah because at yeah. work every day we blow dry it for you so you know so you don't even need to you don't even need to you just come in with wet hair and get it all I done do, don't i how lucky you so nice. <laughs> so i bet you miss i bet you miss that oh i miss it i miss it so i miss it so i miss my makeup chair more yeah. than more than life itself oh. i really do <laughs> yeah i miss you <laughs> um okay is working well. I know that you know exercise is very important to you, and it's a big part of your life. Is working out and eating healthy important to you, and does it help you physically and mentally? One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I um. I. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I work out because obviously it's good for for the body and all of that. But mentally, like it really, it really helps me. You know, doing my. My gym sessions, yoga, keeping busy with all of that in my daily routine. Um, it, yeah, it's it's a high priority for me. I just really think it helps. Uh, my anxiety, um, it helps, you know, just my general well-being and my, my attitude. Like I always feel so much better after I go for a run or after I do a workout. Um, you know, and it's hard, it's hard in what we do and the hours that we work to, to fit it all in and, you know, and you're so, so, so good as the, the head of makeup to let me some <laughs> go and have some time off to go and, yeah. you know, have my gym sessions and come in back. In between but, seconds. Um, no. And there. Oh, there. Right. I got you. I got you. Yes. I got you. Can you hear me? Um, and you know, yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. And so, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so you know that I have a bit of a, a, a sugar addiction. Um, yes. You love your yeah. chocolates and sweets. Probably the pimples too. That all the everyone's watching probably going. And there's nothing really wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. <laughs> So I do love I do love my my sugar, but I do try and kind of counterbalance it. You know, like we're all human, and so I'll have a lot of sugar, then I'll have a, a big workout, and then I'll try and eat healthy for an X amount of time. But no, I do I do really try and watch like what I eat and make sure it's healthy and nourishing, and you know, and also work out for 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 good mental wellness. Really, yeah, and it really it really helps me. It really, really yeah. helps me. And so you find like if you're having a, like, I mean, you were just telling us before that you you have, you know, suffer from anxiety at times. Do yes. you find that if you feel like you're having an anxiety attack or a panic attack, yes. um, you just get yourself up, you go to the gym or you go for a run or you go for a walk? Do you find that that helps? Yes. That anxiety? 100%. Yeah. There's something about <clears throat> sort of tricking 
because when you have anxiety, obviously your heart rate is up. Um, yeah. And so if you if your body can match that heart rate and you can get yourself moving and pumping, it just all naturally sort of aligns and then you Balances. can sort of calm yourself down. Um, okay. You know, meditation and, and yoga also really, really help with that. Uh, but yeah. I do find if I am feeling anxious or antsy, that sort of like feeling of like, Ugh, just to bang it out and sweat really, yeah, it's, it's such a gift. Yeah. Well, really that's helps. good to know. That's great to know. Okay.